Howdy folks, Justin here. We are going to hop onto the ladder with our Big Dumb Sorcerer deck. <clears throat> deck, li deck list <laughs> is on the left. And uh, <clears throat> you may notice we have, uh, we're have we swapping out the Atromancers, the 2-2 uh, the two -two guys that put a, put a fella in your hand. <clears throat> we're trying out Young Mammoth. See how that works for us. Playing against Reese, the Imperial Captain. Maybe this is a tokens matchup. I've seen a lot of tokens decks lately, which has kind of been surprising to me. Hadn't seen that deck for a while. Um, we're actually going to keep the Preserver since we have the Elixir. <clears throat> Shout of Priest pretty clutch in this matchup, whether it's Control or Tokens, uh, because either Divine Fervor or Hisgrove are great targets for that. But our hand already says, my opponent's triggering Golden Saint. <laughs> and we noticeably don't have a Crushing Blow to answer a uh, an early... Did I disconnect from the internet? What's going on here? An early 5th Legion trainer from our opponent. So, not a great hand. <coughs> the goal against the tokens deck is to put him into top deck mode. Sort of requires Ice Storm to pull that off. There's Ice Storm, but unfortunately, no play in the first couple turns means that this is probably control, so. To that end, we will probably elixir out our preserver and take an aggressive aggressive approach to this. <clears throat> we do have the Shadow from Priest for the inevitable Hist Grove, if we get there. I think if we're I think we're okay with him javelining that too. Right on cue. <clears throat> and if we can get these removal spells out of his hand early, although this is the Golden Saint turn, which would be a disaster for us. I was going to say, if we can get these uh, cards out of his hand early, we are pretty good when it comes to dropping things like our gigantic creatures later on. Um, we could just shut off and priest that now. Yeah, that seems reasonable. We're going to put him over here because... Well, and actually, we are going to put him over here, because I was thinking <clears throat> we should play around Don's Wrath, but I don't think he puts that over there if he's got Don's Wrath in hand. Okay, our opponent going aggro on us. Young Mammoth. Okay. So... We kill that. Lay down a mammoth of our own. And tree minder. Let him let him push a little more damage to us. <clears throat> Got quite a bit of answers in hand between the firebolts and the ice storms that we can deploy next turn. Okay, opponent still going face. Interesting approach. Shadowfin priest on my elixir. Okay. So now the question becomes I kind of like just Harpy and Night Shadow, right? Cause, but let's consider this. He certainly has I mean, it seems co like safe to say that he has a Manticora in hand. Hmm. I'm just going to keep drawing cards. That's a pretty good one. I'm gonna push some damage. Um, not super concerned with the prophecy. I guess that the two two tokens would have been something I should have thought about before I played my creatures. Loyal House Carl. Um, okay. <clears throat> if he wants to trade in there, I think that's all right. We're head on cards. Only behind in life a little bit. There's the Manticora. So if he has another Manticora, our Nahog leave plan is not great. But I think it's the best plan we have. Alternatively, we just Firebolt, Firebolt, and swing with that. But I think this is not bad. I mean, Maroc totally screws us here, but not, not a lot we can do about a Maroc. 
Shadow Fen Priest, so he's just gonna go face. That's interesting. Desperate Conjuring. <coughs> Um, Mammoth, so we can't, we can clear, oh, no, now we can't, can we? Um, well, yeah, we can, it's not going to be pretty. But it is doable. Okay, so we're at 10 life, but our opponent only has two cards. Right. Um, hmm. Let's just do this. Let's try to end this game. <clears throat> Blood Magic Lord uh, into Desperate Conjuring or Desperate Conjuring on our Atromancer are all potential plays. So is just killing our opponent. If we silence that... Okay, so now killing our opponent, a little less of a viable plan, but he is down to one card in hand. He has lethal on board, so... Um... Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Can we kill him? I'm always screwing up lethal with uh, these cards. Plain Blood Magic Lord seems too risky because, th you know, if we get the raise dead and we don't get a way to answer these creatures, he's just going to kill us. So I think our route to victory involves... Well, how do we feel about Desperate Conjuring... Now, uh, Odiving or Manticore. I mean, it's too weak to both of the same things. Um, so, we're going to do like this. And like this. Like th and just like this. We're not swinging because we don't want to break that rune. We want to hopefully swing with our Knight's Shadow. <clears throat> we might have to Desperation Blood Magic Lord next turn, which is going to be a bummer. Dragon Tail Savior. Do you have a removal spell? Pillaging Tribune. Okay. Just go on face. Alright. Um... Okay, that's pretty good. And no prophecy, which is pretty fortunate for us. <coughs> he has nine on board if he removes that. We're still not dead. There were better ways to swing with the... Uh, with the uh, breakthrough creature, we, the uh, Atronach we had over here, um, but I was trying to keep the rune breakage to a minimum. It wouldn't take much to screw me up here. And we already saw the loyal house Carl. I believe that's Lydia from Skyrim, if I'm not mistaken. First time I was playing, well, first time I was playing Skyrim while my girlfriend was in the room. Uh, Lydia said something like, I am here to serve, and she poked her head around the computer and said, who dat? <laughs> that was pretty funny. Maroc, okay. Still not dead. I 
think my opponent might have given up. Oh, they did. All right. Cool. So that was the game with the uh, Big Dumb Sorcerer deck, now featuring a young mammoth. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, yeah, we'll keep playing. I went on an insane losing streak yesterday, so I'm kind of recovering from that still. Uh, yeah. Cool. Thanks for watching, everybody.